Welcome to another episode of SQL Server Tutorial. Today we are going to learn about SQL Server constraints. What is SQL constraints and type of constraints. Let's explain what is constraints. Constraints let you define the way the database engine automatically enforces the integrity of a database. In practice, constraints are used to limit the type of data that can go into a table. If there is any violation between the constraints and the data action, the action is aborted. Constraints can be column level or table level. There are various types of constraints. Not null ensure that column cannot have a null value. Unique constraints ensures that all values in a columns are different. Primary key is a combination of a not null and unique constraint used to uniquely identify each row in a table. Foreign key uniquely identify a row or record in another table. Check constraint ensures that all values in a column satisfies a specific condition. Default constraint sets a default value for a column when no value is specified. Finally, index. Index used to write and retrieve data from the database very quickly. Now we are going to use SQL Server Management Studio to understand constraints. We have already created a database called TestDB and some table, customer table, customer detail table. You can set constraint while creating a table. You can also add this later. Let's open the customer detail table in design mode. We can put uh, null constraint in graphical mode in this column allow null column in this table only customer detail table does not allow null if we want to ensure that every customer should have a country country column should not allow null we check out this column let's see what happened sub the table open the table in edit mode try to insert a new row Let's zoom into the error message. Error message cannot insert the value null into column country. That means our null constraint is working. So if we put the country UK, the data gets saved. So in this example, we learned how to control data input using null constraint. The unique constraint ensures that all values in a column are different. Both the unique and primary key constraint provide a guarantee for uniqueness of a column. A primary key constraint automatically has a unique constraint. However, you can have many unique constraints per table, but only one primary key constraint per table. Please view my SQL Server tutorial part 7 to know more about primary key constraint and foreign key constraint. Let's see how to add a unique constraint in a table using SQL Server Management Studio. Under test DB, right click on person table, click design, right click design area, select index and key, click add. We are going to insert unique key on ID column. You can change it from here if you want to apply it on another column. We are going to select ID is unique select yes close save the table let's check the unique constraint is working or not open the table in edit mode insert a row id is one id two it's okay if you want to make the second row id is one it's throwing a error message the error message cannot insert duplicate key on row. Now check constraint. The check constraint is used to limit the value range that can be placed in a column. If you define a check constraint on a single column, it allow only certain value for this column. If you define check constraint on a table, it can limit the value in a certain column based on values on other columns in the row. Now we are going to create a table called person 
and add a check constant on S column so that we can ensure S value must not less than 18 years. Let's execute the code. Refresh database under table, right click on person table, edit to ID 1, first name is and S value is 15. It is showing error message because we have type 15, so it is less than 18 years. Let's type 18. 18 is accepted. We can preset a value for a column with default constraint. Open persons table in design mode. Select S column. And default value binding type 40. Our target is to ensure if if S value is blank, then S value will be 40 years. Let's check it works or not. Open the table in the editing mode. First name, develop. And I am not supplying any value to S close and reopen the table in editing mode here you can see default constraint automatically assigned as value to 40 in sql server management studio expand any table right click on index folder new index non clustered index click add select the column you want to add index click ok click ok to finish it is that simple the new cluster index is created concept of indexing is very broad it may take one full episode to understand indexing that is all for today please subscribe to my channel to stay connected if you have any query please post comments